In your second HTML lesson from AP Computer Science, our big idea is the internet, we're going to add some additional HTML tags for you to code a web page. So you can see I have my text edit document here open on a Mac. If you're on Windows on the class page, you can see follow this to open up a notepad document and edit it for a web page and make sure you follow this if you're using a Mac to set up your preferences. We're going to actually follow this assignment called My Favorite Things. What we're going to make, you see we're going to be talking about links, images, embed tag, unordered list, ordered list, and horizontal rule. So we're going to add a lot of HTML tags to what you currently know. Day one, we'll come up with this and we'll basically add in some links and some list and unordered list. On day two, we'll go ahead and add in some images, horizontal roll, and the embed tag. So let's go ahead and get started. You can see it says open up a basic text document notepad or text edit on Mac, save the file as my favorite things, type the following information below. So first, I'm going to go ahead and we want to put in our structure, HTML structure. We learned that in the previous document and let's call this Jamie's favorite things and let's go ahead and save it. So I do save click on use HTML. So now that I've saved it they want us to type in your name, favorite things, five favorite websites, favorite things to do, five favorite things to do. So there we go. Then you can see we'll follow along these for day one and day two. For HTML tag for bold and italics, add favorite things to your name and italicized. So for example, dancing should be like dancing. This isn't a review from the last video, so I'm not going to do that. You should know how to. Um, down here, for example, what should I make to make food, bold and italics, what are the two tags I need to add in there. If you don't know, go back and check the last video. For this, headings. Heading 1 to your name up here. Again, that's from the last video. I'm not going to show you that. If you don't remember, go back and check the last video. But you want this to be a heading 1. Next up, you actually want favorite websites and favorite things to do to be heading 2. So the same thing here. You should know how to change that to a heading 2 you should know how to change that to a heading too. Now here's the new tags that we are actually going to discuss in this lesson. Use an HTML tag for a hyperlink email to link your name to your email address. Use an HTML tag for a hyperlink website to make it links to all your favorite websites. This also let me take a point here. At the very top of our assignment I've linked um, to W3Schools so if I click on this it takes you to a website w3schools.com that has pretty much HTML basics on every type of tag that you want. You can go through and look at other ones. So if we click on this, you can see they have CSS and tables and IDs and JavaScripts and file paths and just a bunch of stuff, um, extra content for you. Let's go ahead and do our links though. So they want us to link our name to our email address. To do that, remember we start out like this and at the end we have something well, the tag is a space hyperlink reference equals to, like that. Now, most people would think the ending tag looks like that, but this is just a attribute. A is actually a tag, so your ending tag looks like that. So let me go ahead and do that two more times. A hyperlink reference equals to. And I'll end my Gantech. Again, a hyperlink reference equals to. For email, to link your email inside of here, you have to say mail to 
and then you type in your email address, camtechclass at gmail.com. For websites, you actually type in http colon slash slash gantech.com or for example http colon slash slash youtube.com the only difference that's how you hyperlink to other websites so let's check it out on our class page so on our class page you can see here I right click and I do inspect on my email address you can see a hyperlink reference equals to mail to Gantech class and I'm adding some additional content I'm making the body say contact Mr. Gant but the main thing is mail to and the email address right above that right above that you have this if I inspect that you can see a hyperlink reference equals to and then the website so that's how you actually do links for this assignment. You can go ahead and fill that on down. So now that we have that, when I save it, and again, your page will look different, but I'm just showing you the links part, the stuff that you do not know how to do. But you can see if I click on my name, it opens up email and it's trying to send an email. If I click on YouTube, it actually takes me to YouTube. Or Instagram. It takes me to Instagram, which is blocked at our current school. Now, sometimes a web browser opens up a new tab and then goes to a website. How do we do that? Very simple. We add a very another attribute to our HTML tag. So, for example, here we want to go to Gantech using our hyperlink reference, but I want to do a space and add the attribute target equals to telling the browser Chrome, Safari, Firefox, where do I want to open up Gantech? Well, I want to open it in underscore blank, which is essentially a new tab. So let's save that and refresh it. So now if I click on Gantech, it opens a blank tab and then it opens up Gantech. Very, very simple. So that's the attribute. And again, I can add that all the way down. So next, to-do list. There's an unordered list and an ordered list. An unordered list. So underneath for your portfolio page, you see I have a dot here, a dot here, a dot here. That's considered an unordered list. It's a list of certain things. An ordered list could be our reflection questions for your portfolio page. You see I have one, two, three, four, five. You might think I typed that, but actually I'm just using the HTML code to make that. How do we do it? Make an unordered list for your websites and make an ordered list for your favorite things to do. Up here, favorite websites, I'm going to put something. Very bottom, I'm going to put something. For an unordered list, remember I told you in HTML, they normally just took the first letter of what you're trying to do, um, and that's the code. So similarly here, unordered list is UL. And I save that. Now, when I refresh it, what it's going to do is going to indent these list items. So when I refresh, you can see there you go. Now, if I want the little dots here, those are considered list items. So again, for each thing, something goes there, and something goes at the end. Like I, we did for unordered list, if I want to do a list item, like I did for unordered list, if I want to do a list item, it's li. At the end, li. So if I save it and refresh it, you can see it gave me the list item. And I can go ahead and do that all the way down. Now, let's check out our references. Let's go back up to unordered list. And you can see it looks like that but we have an attribute that we can play with. We can do it in CSS using list style type, or we can actually do it directly here. I can change it from being circle to a disk, a square, or none. The way we do that, I do a space type equals to, and let's say square. So when I refresh this here, now they're squares. So 
that is the text for doing that. Let's go ahead to the bottom. How would I do an ordered list? Very similarly, I have OL. At the end, I have an OL. And then I have my list items. If I save it, there we go. One, two, three, four. Actually, I'm not typing it, it's the ordered list. Now, just like you can have a type for unordered list, you can have one for ordered list. Let's look at see it our look at our options. So if I come on down to ordered list, you can see I can make it numbers, I can make it alphabetical, I also can make it Roman numerals. So let's try to do that. I would say type equals to A. Push save. I refresh it. You can see it automatically does it. Or I can do a big A. Or I can do Roman numerals. Save. Or I can do uppercase. Save. And there we go. That gets you here. Top should be linked. You know how to do headings. You know how to do this. And you have your unordered list. So your page should look like this. You should know how to do that. Mine looks like this. But if I save it and refresh, there we go. This is what you're looking for on your first day. You have this link to your email. You have your heading two. You should know how to do that. I did not show you how to do that in this video. Go watch the previous video if you don't remember. You linked all of these two websites that open up in a new tab. You also made an unordered list and you made an ordered list. And these are bold and italics and you should know how to do that. Again, go watch the previous video if you don't. In the next video, we will show you how to embed YouTube videos, also images, and content from your Google Drive. Go ahead and watch the next video.